it going. All right. Um, we're doing a... Welcome back, by the way. We're doing a... Fuck neat, that. Don't welcome anybody back. <laughs> we're doing Fuck a, you guys. doing a, a neat review of the Bower Hill. Bower Hill. Bower Hill. Bower, Boyer. <laughs> um, There's no Y in there. I know. We did this in a Manhattan several months ago. This was a... Like, probably nine months ago. Right. So this is a, a good example of, you know, again, it's not one-to-one, -one, but we're... Leaving a whiskey way too long in the glass, or yes. in the bottle. And again, this was a gift from our friend, Michael. Thanks, Mike. Michael. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Just think of what sound you make when you sneeze. So, off the top of my head, I don't remember what score this this got. Um, it's very high proof. Meh. High-ish. Well, 118.8. 118.8. Yeah. 59.4% maybe. Uh, this thing scored a 93 in the 2018 Ultimate Spirits Challenge. So there's that. Okay. We're going to review it neat today. Yeah, so my memory of this in a Manhattan is um, it scored very high. Uh, I think you thought it was a little on the sweet side. Mm -hmm. I did. Um, but it was still a pretty high-ranked bunghole score for us. Do you remember? Well, yeah. See, back then, we had probably only reviewed maybe back like... Back then, eight months ago. Well, no, you've got to think. I mean, we've reviewed a lot of things. And that doesn't make us an expert. But it does... Potentially make us alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> you have more than me. Damn it, he's right. Who poured this? Why do you have more than I do? Okay, now you have more than I do. Alright, alright. Anyways. So yeah, so... Yeah, so we were uh, filming the last episode. And, uh... <laughs> you guys are glad you didn't see what's going on over there. <laughs> Oh my god. So right. we're, we were talking about, in the last episode, after we got done filming, we were looking at our table of things over here, and Jesse mentioned the Bower Hill, mm -hmm. and the fact that uh, we haven't really done much with it other than that one episode, and yet the bottle was still almost down to nothing. I don't even know how that happens, but... Oh boy. Just wait for this. Mmm. still smells hot. No. This thing smells so sweet. This thing well, smells like candy. Well, this is that was your only complaint about it in a Manhattan is it was too sweet. Yeah, yeah, borderline too sweet. So it might be good neat, which you know we, we weren't we weren't doing neat reviews we back then on camera. <laughs> yeah, only in the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> Again, <laughs> asshole. Okay, what are you getting on this? I am getting. Boy, mm. I don't even know how to put it, put my put like my finger on that that smell. There's it is sweet as all get out. I get some corn, like I smell corn yeah. in there. It's almost like hay. I mean, like it's 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 like a grassy sweetness. It's buttery too to me. I can I guess I can kind of see that. Maybe like it just smells. Smells very, very sweet. Very sweet. I sweet? just like the first thing. The first things that pop into my mind are wheat, corn, hay, and just right. sugar, so, like light brown sugar. So the the one of the first requirements for being a bourbon is it has to be what fifty one percent corn. Correct. Okay. So I'm getting a lot of that. I would love to know what the, the actual mash bill is on this. It's, it's definitely corny. It reminds me of a. Uh, I'm not going to say like mellow corn, but something something more along. Uh, the lines it's of, way more complex yeah, than mellow corn. Exactly. Mellow corn is very one dimensional. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but for like seventeen dollars, right? Fuck it. Okay, let's do this. All right. Corn. Corn. It's very corn. All corn. All corn. Now, granted, this bottle's been sitting around for probably nine months. Right. 20% uh, filled at best. Corn. 
Like, I get nothing. I get literally nothing else. It's very corny. <laughs> Sorry. I think it's been sitting around too long. There are some bottles that age really well and it, once they've been opened. And if it, was, if it was sitting around at that height, we probably, it probably would have been fine. Right. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't have had much, you know, you right. wouldn't have had much change right. in the bottle. Um, but yeah, this is it's not, very not what it was. Very unremarkable, but we didn't try it neat either. We should have done this neat before. So anyway, long story short, we got to figure out a way to get us a fresh bottle of this and do a new neat review. Michael. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. Anyway, if you don't know, you don't know. You don't know. But if you know, you know. All right, so, this isn't horrible. It's just, it's, it's un- not it, horrible, it's un- but it's unremarkable. That's all. I mean, the, the problem is I would have graded this so much higher in the beginning if we'd actually done this legit. Mm-hmm. Like right now, it's like a six five. People want to know, like, when I crack a bottle, at what point does it start to go? Not bad. It's never going to go bad, but it's just no. This it, isn't bad. It's just not great. Right. So, but uh, the, sometime between month zero and month nine is the sweet spot. Right. We missed it. We did. But which is disappointing because this was a dynamite Manhattan. So it was. So you know, I think it, it, it's. I don't think this is never going to be not on the sweet side. I think it's always going to be sweet. Right. It's just it's just what they do mm-hmm. in this particular uh, whiskey. But all that being said, so lesson to be learned: don't try this neat after letting it sit three quarters of the way empty after nine months. Yeah, because that's a scenario that everyone goes through with Bower Hill. Yep. <laughs> so on that note. Um, Bower Hill, barrel strength, nine months later, 6.5. Yeah, you're right. All right. It's still a decent meat pour, but just not, it's, it's corn. If you like corn? High, high proof corn. Buy it, drink three quarters of it, and let it sit around for nine months. <laughs> You'll be good to go. Okay. Anyway, cheers. Cheers.